Good morning, brothers and sisters in Christ. Or whenever you see this, <clears throat> might be good evening for you. Uh, today is Sunday, May the 31st. Hard to believe this month's already over. And it's 9.51 a.m. I have to share with you a video that I pray every single one of my subscribers will watch. I know they won't, but I wish they would. Nobody's getting notifications. People are just not getting notified. I'm not getting notified. Is, are any of you? Where are you supposed to get notified from? I thought that if you click the bell, then underneath this little black bell over here, you get notified. Isn't that how it's supposed to work? Or where do you get notified at? Somebody tell me because I'm not getting them. Anyway, <clears throat> I have to share this video with you from Many Fish. He hasn't been on in a while, apparently. Uh, I don't know because I don't get notified. <laughs> Nobody has sent me one of his videos, so until now. And he starts off uh, talking about how we better know the Lord. And, and he's walking outside and talk, talking about taking the right path and you know and he's turning on a path and that's really cool but then he ran out of film and he's finishing at home and then halfway through he stops and you get to start hearing this piece of a man uh let me put it very clearly you have no constitutional right to endanger the public and spread a disease even if you disagree you have no right not to be vaccinated you have no right not to wear a mask you have no right to open up your business wait can i stop you hey, did, yeah no right to not stay. to be vaccinated meaning if they decide you have to be vaccinated we have to be vaccinated absolutely and if you refuse to be vaccinated the state has the power to literally take you to a doctor's office and plunge a needle into your arm and no they don't but you know somebody was saying in the comments yesterday i can't find where it says the constitution was or the bill of rights or constitution one or the other was shredded you won't find that in in those words this is titled reminder U.S. Constitution Bill of Rights officially null and void dot 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 lawless. This is way we are in the time where lawlessness abounds. Let's pull that up. Just occurred to me. Google Scripture that says, quote, lawlessness abounds. Let's see if that'll pull it up. Matthew 24, 12. Oh, apparently there are several. Okay, let's click on that. Matthew twenty four twelve. Oh my goodness, I'm getting more than I ever thought. Let me type it in over here. Matthew twenty four twelve. And I was thinking it was some other Matthew twenty four twelve. Let's see. Okay, well this King James Version says because and because iniquity shall abound the love of many shall wax cold okay so it's probably nasb which i normally read yeah because lawlessness is increased increased definitely exponentially most people's love will grow cold now that's what it says in the nasb how many of you have loved ones whose love 
toward you has grown cold. But it goes on to say, but the one who endures to the end, he will be saved. All right, to the end of what? That's different for different groups, okay? Know that. We're not all going to be here till the end of the, the seven years of tribulation. That's the Jews. The Jews. The what are now called Jews. The 12 tribes of Israel that are, they won't be killed. They'll be protected. They'll be sealed and protected. Not the ones that are raptured first as the first fruits to God and to his, to his son or however it's worded. Okay. And there was another scripture I found about a week ago that said we are a kind of first fruits to, um, let me find that one. We are a kind of first fruits of his creatures. What does James 1, 18? Yeah, I did a study on the book of James. James 1, 18. Of his own will he begat us. Will, oh, this is worded weird. Of his own will begat he us with the word of truth that we should be a kind of first fruits of his creatures. That's another verse that not only says those who are found worthy will be first fruits for Jesus and God, I mean, as people have died and were found worthy, they went to heaven. Their spirits are up there, but not their glorified bodies. Even though Enoch and Elijah are up there. Since they were taken without dying, I would think that they have a glorified body. But I don't know. That's something we'll find out when we get there. But this also says that we should be a kind of first fruits of his creatures, which tells me, in case you need more proof, <laughs> that our animals go to the creatures will also go to heaven. Okay, well, that's just a little sidebar <laughs> of what I'm telling you. This, our Constitution was never meant to be as it was worded. At the very end here, let me find it. Okay, let's see if this is it. Uh, talking about the Constitution. Those people who may be sick and remove them and isolate them. Well, why exercise? We've got to be very strong. That was just thrown in there. A little snippet reminding us that all of this COVID stuff is just a live exercise. And it's about to get on my last nerve. They got plastic barriers hanging up downstairs now to protect the person sitting at the desk that's supposed to be taking everybody's temperatures. How are they going to take their temperature through that plastic glass? They got a space that's open underneath. And I guess they have to get up out of their seat and go around. And the person will have to go around and they'll do like that. I don't know. I haven't seen them do it. Anyway, um, let me continue. I'm on a little rant this morning here. Very, very smart. You knew damn well I was a snake before you took me in. Blessed be our new founding fathers and America, a nation reborn. May God be with you all. That sounded like Nancy Pelosi.
This is showing a picture of the dollar bill. The one side on the right, it says, In God We Trust. And the word states is above that. But then on the other side, you see the, the pyramid with all seeing eye. Anuit Coeptus. Uh, New World, it's New World Order. Novus Ordo Seclorum. That's New World Order. I don't remember what Anuit Coeptus means. God has favored our undertakings. If that's what they're trying to tell people that that means, that's a big fat lie. <laughs> It shows him tearing... Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord. It shows somebody tearing the Bill of Rights. I, I probably bypassed it. But there's... There's a place in here where it shows the founding fathers who wrote... Who wrote the Constitution... I thought it was here at the end, but I can't find it. Okay, the founding fathers who wrote our Constitution were all 33rd degree Masons. The Illuminati was formed in 1776. Those men who wrote the Constitution and the Bill of Rights were all 33rd degree Masons and in the Illuminati. They were all at the top at the time and they wrote what they wrote to have us all snowballed into believing that everything they do is for our good. They allowed this country to be formed the way it was formed for a reason. Because they wanted everybody I think this is my opinion now. They and I believe some have said it, but I'm but I'm not sure that they want a civil war. Now I don't know what the truth is about this. Was it Floyd? Somebody Floyd that got supposedly killed. Now with the officers who knew him, supposedly they knew each other. They were security officers together, so. Did they really hate each other? Or was this a show? You know, some people are such good actors. They know how to play dead. They can even stop breathing for a couple minutes. You learn to do it. And be as limp as a dish rag when they pick you up. I'm telling you, it could be. I don't know. The man could be dead. But the point is, this has happened before. Why do we have all these cities everywhere creating all these demonstrations over this one man who, for all they knew, had a medical condition that caused his windpipe to close off when the officer was restraining him in a manner that they were taught to do for a person that's resisting arrest and trying to get away, which it didn't look like he was. He walked across the street with them. I saw one of the videos on it. And to put him in the car. Now, why didn't he try to break and run before that? Why didn't he try to resist arrest? He got out of his car and they took him away. And then that happened. And cops were blocking the view of this, the restaurant camera that caught this, the video footage of them taking him out of his car and he was peacefully going along with him. And then cops block the view of that camera. And you see the man on the floor, the ground, and supposedly he died. 
And now there's cities in uproar everywhere. Will this lead to civil war? Isn't that what they wanted? It seems like they've been trying to get a civil war going since Obama was in office. And I'm telling you that some people like Soros, that piece of a man talking about you have no right, you have no right to not be vaccinated. You have no right to not wear a mask. I'm not the one who's sick. A mask might prevent me if it's the right kind of mask. But it's not going to protect anybody else if I'm not sick. Do they think we're stupid? I believe they think we're all stupid. And that we all believe that just any kind of mask is going to work. For any kind of illness. For the common cold how about. Which is caused by a coronavirus. Okay. I'm going to end it here. Because I'm just in an uproar over this. It just makes me. I'm tired of it. Can you tell? Are you? I'm ready to go to heaven. And I thought maybe today. Maybe today was the day. So we just have to hang in there together. We can't lose our blessed hope. We just have to get over it and move on. Keep loving. Keep repenting. Like I have to do today. Because I've just not been a very good person today, apparently. I can't say negative things because that's just wrong. And it is. We're supposed to be the light of the world. Remember that song? Light of the world. Well, no, that's talking about Jesus. You step down into darkness. You opened my eyes and let me see. Beauty that gave May this heart adore you. Hope of a life spent with you. I wish I could sing the whole song. But they would take down my video and say uh, they'd give me a copyright strike. Yes, they would. And then my channel would be down because I already have a community guideline strike and a copyright strike so I have to be a good little girl and not disobey <laughs> anyway it's this little light of mine I'm gonna let it shine this little light of mine I'm gonna let it shine let it shine let it shine let it shine all right, so this little light of mine, you got one, I'm going to let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. I plead the blood of Jesus over this video, myself, my internet connection, my computer, I plead the blood of Jesus over each and every one of you and all of your devices and over your internet connections as well. May we all stay connected and I pray you will share this video, this one, Many Fishes. Click on the link. If you can't see the link in the description box, you type in Many Fish, two words. And the title you're looking for on his channel is Reminder colon U.S. Constitution dash Bill of Rights Officially Null and Void dot 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 Lawless. Okay? 
There you go. Have a beautiful, wonderful, blessed day in the Lord. Yes, they call this the Lord's Day. Yes, they do. On the day of the Lord. Look it up. I'll look it up for you. Just because people don't understand why churches began on Sunday. The day of the Lord in the Bible. The day of the Lord is a biblical term and theme used in both the Hebrew Bible and the New Testament as in, okay, this is the great and terrible day of the Lord. The Lord's Day, I'm sorry. It's called the Lord's Day, and I know exactly where it is. So, oops, I hit the weather. Revelation chapter 1. Oh, maybe it's two. No, no. Revelation 1, verse 10. I was in the Spirit on the Lord's day and heard behind me a great voice as of a trumpet. In tools, when you go down to the phrase, the Lord's day, Lords, two times, belonging to the Lord, relating to the Lord. So then you go down, relating to the Lord. The day devoted to the Lord, sacred to the memory of Christ's resurrection. Revelation 110. Enough said. Be blessed this day, brothers and sisters. Don't give up hope. Jesus is coming soon. He will keep his word. He said, pray that you may be counted worthy to escape all these things that are to come to pass. We will not be forced to take a vaccination. We will be out of here. Those who are found worthy to escape will be out of here. If they even manage to find a vaccine, possibly it will be after the second rapture. It has to be. Because otherwise there would not be a multitude too large to number. If you take that vaccine, that leaves a mark on your hand and maybe the directions will say you can put it on your forehead. Either way, that's also a very warm place. You can feel it. Feel your cheek. Then feel here. Feel here. And then feel here. You can tell with your own hands which place is warmer. And it might take your body's heat to take the ink. Poisonous ink, I say. Bye for now. I'll talk to you later.